Hey guys, Amber here. And once again, it's time for another unboxing video. I got myself another Marvel Collector Corpse box. Is it Collector Corpse or Collector Cause? Because it's spelled corpse, but in my previous video somebody said it's pronounced cause. But when I say Collector Corpse, it kind of sounds like I'm collecting bodies. I'm not collecting bodies. Collector Cause or Collector Corpse? I've got another one, let's just say that. This time around, it is Women of Power. Now if you've never heard of this before, I won't go into too much detail because I'll be here all day. Basically, Funko and Marvel have combined together to create a really cool box that comes out every couple of months. The box is worth $50, but you can buy it for $25. $25 for us is about £17-£18, plus $18 shipping, so that's about £13 um, to send over to England. So in total for us it's $43. Not sure what it's like for other countries, but definitely for England or the UK, it's about just over £31. I'm just going to leave all the information, links to stuff, in the description box below. And now I'm gonna crack on. So like I said, Women of Power. As with the other two boxes, the design on the top is pretty freaking cool. Spider Gwen, so it's already off to a great start. And it also has Women of Power on the front of the box, which is even cooler. Now to give this box a sweet release and see what's inside. If I can open the dang thing. Ooh. <laughs> Nice! Ba, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. So this is the inside of the box, which looks freaking cool. I got a really cool Spider Woman badge as the Collector Cause badge. I need to get like a hat or a jacket or something where I can put all of the badges that I get and show them off because these would go wasted if they were just thrown in a box somewhere. And a boss ass Miss Marvel patch. So like in my Civil War box, I got this. So this shows you what's the next thing, which is Spider-Man. And I think that would be a pretty interesting box to get. And also what we have inside the box. It just explains what they've put in there, why, different designs that they've done, and like the final choices. So I got the Squirrel Girl Pop spoiled <laughs> because I checked Instagram and before it refreshed, it showed old pictures and one of them was someone with a squirrel girl in the hand and I was just like, god damn it. I kind of expected squirrel girl to be in there because of the video for this box. But I was just like, no. But it doesn't matter. It's nice to see what's inside boxes and unbox them and everything anyway. So I'm gonna carry on. <laughs> Spider Gwen t-shirt, freaking sweet. Look at this design, man. Ooh, this is, oh man. It's nice that it's a light grey as well. It's usually really dark clothes, like Deadpool, the black t-shirt, Civil War was navy blue. Um, it's nice to see, well, I mean, it's not colour, but it's not dark. So this will be a very awesome thing to wear all the time. Probably mainly in bed as a night shirt. This is the pop variant cover of Civil War 2. I really love these pop covers, they're so cute. I don't know which is my favourite one at the moment though. I don't know. Maybe from the previous box. <gasps> oh! Oh! I know this was spoiled for me, but it's actually so cute to actually see it with your own actual eyes in your own actual hands. Squirrel Girl, oh my gosh. Okay, look how cute that is guys. I really need to catch up with this because I haven't really read many and I know she is a very kick-ass character in the universe of Marvel, so I really need to get on that. This is just, oh, man, I love Pops. They're just so cool. <laughs> ah, haha. -ha. And here are the vinyl bobbleheads of She-Hulk and Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel over here and She-Hulk. These are glued tops and I want to open them so bad but at the same time the collector side of me is like Amber, don't touch it. These are collectibles and they need to be never removed from box. I don't know what to do. I think I might keep them in the box. But it seems like they need to see daylight. I don't know. I don't know. 
And this is the inside of the inside of the box design. So I just love how the, oh, the artwork is just so good on these. It's like I want to take apart these boxes and have them on display, but the boxes are too precious to destroy. So I'm just like collecting boxes and boxes. I'm gonna turn into a crazy box lady, if not a crazy cat lady. I think. I think my destiny has been chosen for me, collecting all this stuff. So yeah, I'm very pleased with this box. There are a lot of powerful women all up in this box right here. And yeah, I'm very pleased I got it. Now it's just a case of trying to find space to put everything because I... Definitely not on here. I'm not gonna find any space on here. I'm just gonna have to kind of assemble shelves or something and just plaster everything everywhere. I hope you enjoyed my video guys of this lovely unboxing. If you wanna check out the previous unboxing that I've done, which was Civil War, then totally check it out. I'll post links and do something fancy over here maybe um, for you to go over and click onto it. If you like this video, give it a like comment did you get this box what do you think of the stuff that you got have you had previous boxes before or are you going to get the spider-man box and check out the rest of my videos and maybe give me a subscribe two of my girls over at fgg fake geek girls also got this box so you should definitely check out their video and see what their reactions are like too and hopefully i'll be back with another video soon see you around bye